in this video, what we're going to do is fix this issue with our aiming. So currently, we have our hand placement set up using this fabric node right here. And that's attaching it and holding it in place for the point where we have the socket on the rifle. So right here was where we want it to grip. Now the problem is, if we look at the wrist, it's completely straight. Then when we aim, let's look at the wrist again, it is still completely straight. It's not taking in any of the rotation that it requires to have the wrist follow the animation or the uh, IK system correctly. So what we're going to do is let's load up the animation blueprint. Well, first off, let's go to our skeleton, scroll all the way down and find our hand underscore R. We're going to right click, add a virtual bone, and it's going to be for the hand underscore L. Let's rename it to hand underscore L. And as you can see, it is a child of the hand underscore R bone, well, the virtual hand underscore R bone. Now let's head to our animation blueprint. And all we have to do is simply copy and paste the copy bone, link it up like so. So now in the copy and pasted copy bone node, let's change the source bone from hand underscore R to hand underscore L and the target bone to the virtual bone hand underscore L as well like so. File save. Let's look at it. We still have the same result. So what we need to do is add another two bone IK. So let's copy and paste this and link it up. Change hand underscore R to hand underscore L and the effector target from hand underscore R to hand underscore L for the virtual bone. Compile and save. Let's look at it. So now as you can see, it is rotating and holding its rotation as it's supposed to. We just have the issue here with the elbow caving in a good bit. So that is because of this little thing here. I kind of call them pull targets because that's how they are in Blender. So what we need to do, let's go ahead and reset that joint target location because that's what that is. Let's drag it out straight to the right, like so, and then look at it. So now we have a much better angle for that elbow. So now we can go through, rotate however we see fit, and the hand holds its position just like so. We have that beautiful right arm. Obviously, that is a little bit goofed up, but that's due to the idle animation that we have here. But it's not to be concerned because we can't really... Well, actually, we can see this, but it's not too big of a deal. So we have all that working and good to go. So that's going to be all for this video. I'm not entirely sure what we're going to do in the next video. We might set up some other system. We'll have to just see. But if you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon down in the description below where I have a Team Deathmatch series just for Patrons, as well as you get early access to all my videos, such as this one. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord that's also linked down below, and I'll try to help you out. So, I'll see you in the next video.